Hi friends. So it's Friday. I had so many of you texted me and messaged me last night and said, you know, you really love my videos and you want me to keep doing videos. So I'm going to try to continue with the videos. I'm not really cooking anything today. Some days I get up, you know, do my hair and I'm like all ready to go. Today it snowed, so we have a whole bunch of snow out there. I guess I could show you guys that. We got white, ouch, I'm burning myself on the heater, but white wonderland, white wonderland going out there. But today, I'm not doing my hair, I'm in my jammies, and I'm just chilling out here, enjoying the picturesque snow. For me, after bypass in the winter, I love my soups. I'm a huge soup fanatic. One of my favorites is chicken barley or beef bar. It's a chicken mushroom barley, or you could also do it with beef. After my bypass, I was very, I was very thrown like, oh my God, I can't have chicken noodle soup or chicken rice soup. You know, what am I going to have with my chicken soup? And then my nutritionist said that I, that after bypass, barley is a gastric bypass favorite allowable thing. So I introduced barley into my soups and I totally fell in love with it. So if you're a chicken soup or a beef soup person and you miss your noodles, try the barley because the barley really is good. And this soup recipe actually is really super good, super easy. What I do is I start with a pack of chicken legs because you can get chicken legs like super cheap, like $3 for a pack of chicken legs in my big pamper chef knife that I'll be lucky if I don't cut my fingers off. But anyway, all I do is I take the big pack of chicken legs and I throw them into my Instapot. Very, very simple. Nothing, nothing crazy. You're basically going to make a chicken broth. And the chicken legs with the bones like I said, super cheap, and they will make the best broth ever. Then I'm going to throw in a couple bay leaves, because bay leaves will bring out like a deep, rich flavor in any soup or stew or anything that you make like that. You probably only need one. I usually put about five. I like a lot of flavor. Then you're going to throw, throw in there some parsley. I'd say two tablespoons. Y'all know I don't measure. I'll get yelled at for that. You want to put a good amount of salt because you, your, your salt's going to really make your chicken broth flavorful. You don't want chicken broth with, with no flavor. I'm also going to throw in some adobo because I like it. I'm going to throw in some garlic because, again, we like garlic in my house. And some pepper. Right now, I'm just making the chicken stock. So I'm going to put all these things, I'm going to cover this chicken with water. I'm going to put it in the Instapot and I'm going to run that for probably about, I probably only need 20 minutes, but I like to be safe. So I run it for about 40 minutes while I'm running the chicken. I'm going to cover it with water. I'm going to put it in the Instapot, close it, run the pressure cooker. While I'm doing that, I'm going to peel carrots. I'm going to chop up an onion. Um, I have mushrooms in here. I'm gonna chop up mushrooms. I'm gonna chop up all these things. When I'm done, I'm gonna take the chicken out and I'm gonna put it into a strainer or a colander so that it will cool off and I can pull the chicken off the bone. But at that point, I'm gonna have the chicken broth that I made. Then I'm gonna add my chopped up vegetables. Because if I put them in now and I cook it all in there with the chicken, I have to take the chicken out to get the skin and everything off. It just makes it difficult. So I add all the, the vegetables and the flavorings. Then I will run that again. And that's when I also add the barley. Like the last 15 minutes, I'll run one last, one last run of it, adding the barley. Usually I add the barley and the mushrooms because the mushrooms don't take a lot. But that's basically how I do it. I will be back when I'm gonna debone this chicken. But again, right now, covering that chicken with water going to turn the Instapot on for about 40 minutes. 
Okay, so I have my chicken broth cooking away there. I cleaned my one Vidalia onion because I love Vidalia onions. I'm going to clean my carrots. I like a lot of carrots in my soup. It's one of the weird things that I like. So this is a two pound bag. I'm probably going to peel half of these. And I make like little, little quarter size, maybe quarter inch thick carrots. Love the carrots in my soup. And then I will probably clean and quarter most of these mushrooms because it is a chicken mushroom barley soup. Um, this is a, I don't know, it's a big container. Maybe it's a two pound container. It's a big container of mushrooms. Oh, it's a one pound eight ounce. So it, it's the bigger one. I'm gonna pull the stems out. I'm gonna chop them into nice slices. It is such a good hearty soup. It is actually a soup that I had found in one of the, um, like the Ladies First magazine, or I don't know, one of those. It was like this miraculous weight loss soup. And I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. And I totally fell in love with it the first time that I made it. Y'all know I fall in love with things really easy food-wise. So anyway, I am going to clean my onion, my carrots. I'm going to get everything ready. So when I have the broth, I'm just going to throw that in and get that going. All right, guys. My Instapot just went off. Now, if you all are not familiar with using your Instapot, you have, you have to start using it. It makes the best meats ever after our gastric bypass. But it's kind of a little intimidating when you have to let the, the pressure come out. I'll show you. See, it's done now. It's been done for four minutes. So now you have to let it out. And it's scary a little bit. And the lid... It's going to make that hissing sound like it's spitting at me and the steam is coming up and going up the cabinets and up to the ceiling. But the lid will not open until you release the pressure. It's going to take like a minute. But I'm releasing the pressure now. Then I'm going to take my chicken legs out. I have my strainer dish. I'm going to keep the liquid because I want to keep the liquid in the Instapot. And then I'm going to throw in my carrots and onions put them in there for about 15 minutes. I'll run the Instapot again because that will soften them up. Then by then my chicken should get cool enough. I can pick it off the bones because I like to add that at the very end. After I do the carrots and the onions, I'll open it up one last time and I will throw in my mushrooms and my barley. Probably about, you don't really need that much because the barley expands. It sucks up the juice, makes like little marbles very very good if you haven't had bar yeah if you haven't had marbles you got to give it a try if you haven't had barley you got to give it an honest try but that is about it it's still whittling down the steam is still coming off you'll know when the steam comes completely off because then you'll be able to unlock the lid without it exploding first couple times i was like oh my god but still it's Oop, yep, still, it's still hissing at me a little bit. Okay. Whew. Well, you get the point. I'll be back when it's done. All right, guys. So the barley has come to a head. Everything's all it's all put together. Now I just have to chop up the chicken and throw it in there and the soup is complete. <laughs>